Yo, what's going on everybody? Peace and love. Today we have part two of the Chunky Dunky four part series. So let's just jump right into it. I was not paid to make this video. However, I was gifted this pair of Chunky Dunky Dunkies, just like all the other ones that are gonna be coming. And you know, I can't continue on with the video with first thanking all of the subscribers, old, new, existing, doesn't matter, potential subscribers. I love you all the same. I'm glad you're here with me again. So before we, I get too deep in detail, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. So let's go. All right, so we got the traditional SB box that did come in perfect shape. There's no dents. The other one I got was, was crushed. Okay, there might be a little bit of dents, but for the most part, okay, there's one in the lower left corner. But anyway, I mean, this is a good box. So let's go ahead and open it up, take a look. This time we do have a US men's size 10, which I'm super grateful for. And yes, I do, at the time of filming this video, I still do have the size 11s. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna try to put this giveaway together. So make sure, it's important you make sure you tune in on Sunday in my IG live so we can talk about it. All right, so happy about the box not being crushed. Let's just take a quick look at it. I'm not gonna, this video's not gonna be that long. It's not gonna be a 10 minute or I'm not gonna hold you guys too long this time. Why? Because I have two other reviews to do now at this point for these. So I don't wanna just keep dragging these videos on. I don't even know how I'm really able to do this, but you know, I gotta put out content for all the gifts. So one thing I've known with this pair, I've been wearing it for about eight hours. I've been wearing this shoe and the toe box really does not crease i think it's because it's not tumbled and i don't know what it says on that tag but it, it, it just doesn't crease like these things don't even really get dirty it's very very odd and i don't know if you guys can see anything that looks off but to me these look perfect I, I don't have an original to compare to but the toe box looks better than the size 11 i had but this is just an overall completely better pair than the ones i got from the um other company i can't really remember their name but it doesn't matter because this pair is wonderful and i have been wearing this pair for about eight hours i probably won't give this pair away um because my stinky feet have been in it but just look at some of the details you guys tell me if any of this is off to me personally i don't care if there's little tiny details that are off they don't make a difference um there is one i'll point out here in a second they got the green laces yellow laces which i'll throw in a little bit later but I mean, just kind of glancing at them, it's just, it's hard to pick out anything that would be wrong. Like the cowl pattern is always going to be different on every shoe. Um, I should have black lighted these. I didn't black light them, but on the next two pairs, I'll make sure I black light them all. If I still have the size 11 by that time, which I probably won't, I'll black light them all. But look at that little stitching piece right there, huh? That's the only thing that I could find. Let's get these laces off of there, but <clears throat> I should have stayed there a little longer. But that little, go, you can go back and look at it. It's it, That's the only thing that I could find that looked off to me. I took the laces out so you can see the tongue. I didn't do that in the last video, but I, I figured you wanted to see the whole print. And I noticed when I laced these shoes back up, they uh, there's an inside look there. Just kind of, see, I mean, I see all Jordans look that way. The uh, insole. Somebody was saying in the last video that they, these weren't vibrant enough, but it could just be my camera. Let's go ahead and get the size 11 out really quick just for a comparison. See that box? It got, it got beat pretty bad. So guys, whoever wins these, don't be mad about the box. It could get more damage when I send it to you. Um, so just kind of look at them. Of course, one's a, a full size bigger, but just look at some of the patterns. Look at the check. I think the biggest issue with the size 11 was some of the the way they made the toe box. But I mean, don't get me wrong. The size 11 is good, too. It's just, I mean, for one, they didn't fit. And I think there's just little weird things. And I've noticed the green hills, those are lining up differently. If you look close and pause it, they just line up differently. The hills are in different levels where the check is the coloring looks identical to me i think and of course the one with the laces is a size 11 just so you know but look at the toe box and at this point in the video of course i haven't worn the size 10 
but look at the pattern. Try to look at some of the stitching. Here's the curve. I noticed the size 10 has a better curve if you can see that. Like, those are kind of flat. I mean, they're kind of curved, but not as curved. Like, look at that little point right there. The size 10 goes in more, like more arched inward. And the 11's more flat, but that's, that's just what I could pick out. Again, if you guys see anything, please drop it down in the comments. Does not hurt my feelings, they're all just shoes. Oh, we're already at the on feet, so. Here's some close-ups of the shoe. Of course, I had to switch up the laces on you guys to the green, the yellow. And I'm, I might just, I might just uh, keep them that way, I don't know. I wanted to see what you guys think about the lacing schemes. And with these, they just did not look right lacing them up all the way to the top i usually wear them i usually wear sbs tied up to the top but these they just wouldn't go that way and plus the tongue's got to be exposed a little bit more with these shoes it just looks better so i'll probably permanently keep them laced this way i might even put the the, the yellow laces back in and i did notice when i lace these up with both yellow laces some of the black on the black dye actually rubbed off on the yellow laces I mean, I, I thought they sent me dirty laces until I actually looked at what I was doing. And it came from some of the black dye. So if there's a lot of black dye on your pair, um, like on the eyelets there, you can see the yellow laces going through there. If you keep messing with that, it's gonna get dirty. So I don't know if that's because the shoe was freshly made. I am not sure. But here's some close-up on feeds. I didn't do anything too special with the on feet today. I just wanted to get the video up to you guys. And to be honest, I'm exhausted from making these videos. The workload is heavy on your boy right now. And all my fellow comrades out there that do the same thing, they're feeling it too. But we're working double time to bring you guys the best content. Well, I'm working double time to bring you guys the best content possible. That's no slight to anybody. But I love the shoe. I think the concept is dope. Um, they actually look good on the feet. There will probably be styling issues. I would just say keep it simple. This is what they look like when you're looking down at your feet. So kind of just be prepared for that very colorful look. I wouldn't go too crazy with an outfit on this. I'm wearing just like a black pair of joggers and like a green hoodie to try to make the green laces pop. I tried, you know, I tried. I'm not the fashionista, but you know, I do what I can. So I went over the King Supers, figured I should grab some ice cream. I really don't even eat Ben and Jerry's. I had like the half baked or whatever it's called, but I chose Cherry Garcia, which I actually love and it messed up my lunch today because that's that was my lunch, guys, unfortunately. And you know, that's really it. I don't want to hold you guys, you know, 15, 12 minutes this time. Shout out to um, the people that gifted me the sneaker. I think they're going to send me the special box as well. So hopefully when I get that, I'll do another video. And that's going to be pretty interesting because I want to see if it comes damaged or dinked or not. So, I mean, shout out to you guys for getting these to me. Shout out to everybody that's watching this video. You know I love you guys. It's peace and love across the whole globe. We really need it right now. We need to just stay unified and just kind of keep wearing our shoes and being happy. Um, I'm glad you come to my channel to get at least 10 to 12 minutes of, you know, a peaceful time and some visuals and that sort of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I have a couple more videos that are already lined up. So just stay tuned. Thumbs up the video. Much love and peace out.